uh, the story of Issy Dingo. How, how did that come about and, and what shaped creating what is now a part of uh, iconic South African television history? Well, you know, the first um, series I ever did on television was called The Villagers. You probably weren't even born or ve barely born. Do you remember it? Alan, do you remember yep. it? Yeah. 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 Um, no, I think it was. <laughs> 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 And uh, that was way back in the 70s, and it was, the, and it was very, very popular. It was set on a gold mine, and uh, written by a, a writer called John Cundell, with whom I did a lot of work back then. And um, I was approached to do a daily series by the by SABC, and. Um, so what I'd learnt was that um, a, a gold mine is like a microcosm of South Africa because everybody lives and works in the same area and their lives depend on getting that gold out from the guy that drills the rock to the, the, the manager, the, the GM, sitting in his mansion. And, uh, so, it's, 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 and so we took that, that as a setting and uh, we were able to, um, to, to build a series which um, told South African life as it is. Particularly in the early days, we really told it for real, you know. It was great, it was great. It was like t uh, plugging in to the country uh, five days a week, magic. Hello,